boys and girls. How's everybody doing? I hope you all had a great Halloween and you've got lots and lots of candy. And remember, uh, you gave your parents the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, right? Okay, good. Well, today we're going to have three of my very favorite stories, okay? But before I say my very favorite stories, I need to do our story time song. So everybody stand up and let's do the story time song. Ready? Story time story time we are marching to story time story time story time we are marching to story time we will listen look and see at many books just for me well boys and girls the first story i'm going to read to you is about a dog how many of you have dogs okay and what does what does your what's your doggy's name Oh, I heard, I heard somebody said uh, Fido, and I said, heard somebody say Rover, and I heard somebody say Marley, and I heard, oh, lots and lots of names. Well, boys and girls, what are some sounds that dogs make, ready? Right? Some uh, that go bow wow, they go woof, they go woof. Very good. Well, this dog, his name is Ralph. Can you say that? Ralph. Very good. This is Ralph, and it's written by Lois Elhart, Ellert, and it's published by Beach Lane Books. Now, this is Ralph. Okay. Let's find out what Ralph is. Ralph is a talking dog. What do you say, a talking dog? There's no such thing as a talking dog. Well, here is Ralph. I bet you don't believe me, but our dog Ralph can talk. Do you believe him in that he can talk? A lot of you are saying no, that he can't talk. Well, I found out when we first brought him home and I asked him, what's your name? What's your name? And he said, Ralph, Ralph, Ralph. Okay. So we built a house for him and a really high fence all around our yard. Hey, Ralph, where are you? Do you see Ralph? I don't see Ralph in there, do you? Where is Ralph? Say, Ralph, where are you? Ralph, where are you? Roof, roof, roof. Look, Ralph is up on the roof. Roof, roof. I guess he doesn't like inside his house. So, Ralph likes to chase the backyard birds. I always tell him no, but he never listens to me. Hey, Ralph, what's on that tree, Ralph? What's on that tree, Ralph? Okay. Bark, 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 bark. Uh huh. I think Ralph needs a long walk in the woods. Yeah, he's getting a little bit too antsy. Hey, Ralph, how does the path feel on your paws, Ralph? How did they feel, Ralph? Ruff, 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 ruff. Ruff, ruff. That's too rough on my feet. So we race back home on the soft grass. As I latch the fence, we hear a how, how. What's that, Ralph? What's that? Woof, 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 woof. What does he see? He sees a wolf. There's the wolf behind the fence. Oh no, he's warning us. Be careful, be careful. Don't be scared, Ralph. He can't get in. But want to come in the house with me, Ralph? See, there he is in his house. Want to come in with the he, me? Yep, 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 yep. I want to come in. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Ralph, it's great to have a friend. Good 
night, sleepy head. Talk to you tomorrow. I like that story about Ralph and all the noises that Ralph makes, especially the snoring one, right? Well, boys and girls, the next story. No, before we do our story, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do some um, exercises, okay? Put your hands up high and bend down low. Hands up high and bend down low. Hands up high and bend down low. Hands on your hips, out wide. Hands on your hips, out wide. Hands on your hips, out wide. Shoulders out, shoulders out, shoulders out. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And wiggle, 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 wiggle. And sit down. Well, you know what? Instead of me telling everybody hello, why don't you tell me hello? Instead of me saying all of your names, you say hello to me. I'm gonna go one, two, three, and I wanna hear you say, hello, Mama Goosey. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, well, thank you. That makes me very, 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 very happy. Say it again, ready? One, two, three. Oh, very, very good, very good. Okay, now the next story I'm going to read to you is about two colors. One color is yellow and the other color is blue. This is little yellow, blue, yet little yellow, and this is the little blue. And we're gonna find out what happens when little yellow and little blue get together. This is little yellow. This is Little Blue. It's written by Leo, Leo Leone and it's published by Mulberry Books. Look, boy, that's a lot of little yellows and little blues. I'm gonna point to them and you tell me the color, ready? Very good. All right, Little Yellow and Little, oh, Little Blue. Now, wait a second. I see another color in there. Shh, don't tell me what it is, okay? We're gonna find out later. This is little blue, see? Here he is at home with mama and papa blue. There's little blue, papa blue, mama blue. Little blue has many friends. Yellow, red, brown, all these friends. But his best friend is Little Yellow, who lives across the street from him with his papa and his mama and Little Yellow. How they love to play hide and seek. See, they're all hiding. And ring around the rosy. Hang around a rosy, pocket full of posy. In school, they all sit in neat rows. There's orange and red and white and purple. And after school, they run and they jump. One day, Mama Blue went shopping. You stay home, she said to Little Blue. But Little Blue went out to look for Little Yellow. He didn't stay at home. He went out looking. Alas, the house across the street was empty. Little Blue, I mean, Little Yellow was not at home. He looked here and there and everywhere until suddenly 
around the corner, it was Little Yellow. Happily, they hugged each other. Look, what happened when they hugged? And they hugged each other and continued hugging each other until they were green. They weren't little yellow or little blue, they were green. They went to the park to play. They ran through a tunnel and they chased little orange. And when they were tired, they went home. Hmm, but whose home were they gonna go to? But Mama and Papa Blue said, you are not our little Blue, you are green. And Mama and Papa Yellow said, you are not little Yellow, you are green. So little Blue and little Yellow were very, very sad. sad and they, they cried blue tears and yellow tears. And they cried and they cried and they cried until they were all tears. Now you got your blue and your yellow. And they finally pulled themselves together and said, will they believe us now? Mama and Papa Blue were very happy to see their little blue. They hugged and kissed Blue. And they hugged and Little Yellow too. But look, they became green. Now they knew what had happened. And so they went across the street to bring the good news. And they all hugged each other with joy. And the children played until supper time. The end. So little yellow and little blue became green. So what I want to show you is, I have my yellow. I'm going to put a little yellow right here. I'm going to put a little blue right here. See, I have a little yellow and a little blue and watch what happens when you have little yellow and little blue. With your finger, you have green. Good job, so if you wanna mix little yellow and little blue together, you can make green. All right, let Mama Goosey wipe her finger off with paint. Good job. Oh, all right. And the next and last book I'm going to read today is one of by my one of my favorite authors, and it is called Alligator Baby, and it is written by Robert Munch. Okay, Alligator Baby. Now. Where would you get an alligator baby from? You're right, an alligator. So here's alligator baby. One night, Kristen's mother woke up and yelled, a baby, a baby, I'm having a baby, okay. So Kristen's father jumped up and zoomed 
around the room, got dressed and grabbed Kristen's mother by the hand. They ran downstairs to the car and drove out very fast. Vroom. Unfortunately, they got lost. They didn't go to the hospital. They went to the zoo, but it was okay. Kristen's mother had a lovely baby. They drove home, knocked on the front door. Blam, 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 blam. And Kristen opened the door and there was her mother holding something all wrapped up. Kristen, she said, would you like to see your new baby brother? Oh, yes, said Kristen. So Kristen lifted up the bottom of the blanket. She saw a long green tail and said, that's not a people's tail. Kristen lifted up the middle of the blanket and saw a green claw. That's not a people claw. There's a tail and a claw. Kristen lifted up the top of the blanket and saw a long green face with a lot of teeth and said, that's not a people's face. That is not my baby brother. Now, Kristen said her mother, don't be jealous. <gasps> Just then the baby reached up and bit Kristen's mother in the nose. See, there was the baby and she yelled, then the baby reached up and bit Kristen's father on the nose. And he yelled, ah, that's not a people baby, said Kristen. That's an alligator baby. Goodness, said her mother, we've got the wrong baby. So Kristen put the alligator baby into the fish tank and her mother and father drove back to the zoo. They came back in an hour and knocked on the door. Blam, 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 blam. Kristen opened the door and her mother said, would you like to see your new baby brother? Oh yes, here's the alligator in the fish tank. So, Kristen lifted up the bottom of the blanket and saw a fishy tail. That's not a people tail. And Kristen lifted up the middle of the blanket and saw a flipper and said, that's not a people flipper. And Kristen lifted up the top of the blanket and saw a face and whiskers and said, that's not a people's face. That is not my baby brother. Now, Kristen said her mother, don't be jealous. Just then, the baby reached up its flipper and he flapped her father's face. Quack, 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 quack. And he yelled, ah! it's a seal baby. We've got the wrong baby. So Kristen put the seal baby in the bathtub and her mother and father drove back to the zoo. When they came back in an hour, knocked on the door, they said, Kristen, would you like to see your new baby brother? Oh yes, said Kristen. She lifted up the bottom of the blanket and saw a very hairy leg and said, that's not a people leg. She lifted up the middle of the blanket and saw a very hairy arm. That's not a people arm. And she lifted up the top of the blanket and saw a very hairy face. That's not a people face. That is not my baby brother. Now, Kristen said her mother, don't be jealous. Then the baby reached up with its feet and it grabbed her mother's ears and her father's ear and they both yelled, ah, it's a baby gorilla. We've got the wrong baby, said Kristen. So her mother and father put this gorilla baby and the on the chandelier in the living room and Kristen went off 
to the zoo on her bicycle. So Kristen's going to the zoo now. First, Kristen looked in the snake cage. No babies, no people babies. Then Kristen looked in the wombat cage. No people babies. Then Kristen looked in the elephant cage. No people babies. Then she stopped and she listened. From far away, she heard wah, 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 wah. That's more like it, said Kristen. She followed the sound and it was coming from the gorilla cage. Kristen looked at the mommy gorilla and said, give me my baby brother. The gorilla jumped away and wouldn't give the baby back at all. Then the people baby reached up and bit the gorilla on the nose and the gorilla yelled, and handed the baby back to Kristen. Kristen jumped on her bicycle and pedaled home. And she has her baby brother with her. Kristen knocked on the door. When her parents opened it, she said, would you like to see your new baby? Kristen's mother lifted up the bottom of the blanket and said, look, it's people legs. She lifted the middle of the blanket and she said, look, it's people hands. And she lifted up the top of the blanket and said, look, a people face. So Kristen's mother picked up the baby and gave it a big hug. Her father took the baby and gave it a big hug. And Ma, her mother said, Kristen, Kristen, you got the baby back. Good for you. But what are we going to do with all these other babies, yelled the fa Kristen's father. There is a baby seal in the bathtub and an alligator baby in the fish tank and a gorilla baby hanging from the chandelier. We should take them back to the zoo. But Kristen looked out the window and said, I don't think we're going to have to do anything at all because who's coming in? The alligator, the seal, and the gorilla coming in to get their babies. And everything was okay until Kristen's mother had twins. The end. Well, boys and girls, I hope you liked the stories I read to you. Now, next week, there will not be any story time next week because we're celebrating Veterans Day. Now, Veterans Day is a special day that we uh, celebrate and we honor and we think about the soldiers that keep us safe, okay? So next week, no Mama Goosey, all right? But the following week, we'll be back on the 18th. So here we go, boys and girls. Are we ready to say our goodbye song? Ready? My hands say thank you with a clap, clap. Feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. I turn around and touch the ground. And with a bow, I say thank you for coming to Storytime. See you in two weeks. Bye-bye.